What's up everyone? Welcome to the Warriors Report. For today's video, I want to talk about the big fish himself, Damian Lillard, who posted this cryptic message on his Instagram after getting eliminated in the first round. Now, he has yet to publicly demand a trade from the Portland Trail Blazers, but he is clearly not happy and a lot of NBA teams have already started to monitor the situation. So could the Raptors be one of those teams that pursue Damian Lillard in a trade. Now, I know a lot of fans have already stated this is a much different situation than Kawhi Leonard, who had only one year left on his deal, and he's in injured the entire season. But if there's one man out there who can convince a team to give up a good player and not give up his entire roster, that is Masai Ujiri. Masai Ujiri, I'm using this picture here because we know what he was demanding for Kyle Lowry, and a lot of fans question as to whether or not his demand was a little bit too high of what he wanted back for Kyle Lowry but now that Miami Heat have been eliminated from the playoffs you see what they could have gotten in Kyle Lowry and maybe Masai Ujiri wasn't wrong to ask for Tyler Hero now Masai Ujiri has done this before so I think I think he's capable of doing it but I do want to throw four trade proposals for today's video I also want to touch on Yusuf Nurkic as well who I will include in my four trades of Raptors potentially getting him. Now, I know we have Ken Burge and Freddie Gillespie. A lot of fans seem to be happy with that. But let's not forget, we do need a big body in there. And if that's not evident, or I mean, Robin Lopez scored 20 points towards the end of the season when we had Ken Burge, Freddie Gillespie, or it seemed like anyone trying to guard him. And he's not known as an offensive flirt. So despite having those two, I still feel like we need a 7-foot center in there. Yusuf Nurkic could be one of those players. He's a good rebounder. He can block shots. And he's an okay defender. He's not the greatest of defenders, but he can score points as well. So for today's video, let's get into those four trades. But before we do that, you know the deal, guys. Give this video a thumbs up as it helps reach more basketball fans across YouTube. And if you could hit that subscribe button as well. You get a lot of Raptors content on here. I'm expanding to more NBA content as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So for my first trade here as you see the Raptors receive Damian Lillard and also a really young player in Kira Lewis Jr. who was just drafted in this previous year's draft and now the Raptors do give up quite a bit in Fed Ram lead Chris Boucher and Malachi Flynn and they end up trading Gary Trent Jr. to the New Orleans Pelicans. Now the reason they do that is because the Pelicans can provide some assets in Jackson Hayes we know the Portland Trailblazers want some assets. They want some picks as well. And in return, the Portland Trailblazers also send Zach Collins to the Pelicans. Now, the Raptors are likely going to have to include a few picks. You don't see that on the trade here. But probably this year's first-round pick and maybe a future first-round pick as well. And maybe a couple second-round picks you can throw in there as well. Now, the Raptors do give up quite a bit here. They're not only giving up Fred Van Vliet, Malachi Flynn, Chris Boucher, but also Gary Trent Jr., but you know what, you, the reason you trade Gary Trent Jr. is because you trade him to a third team and that third team can potentially throw in some young players that can entice the Portland Trail Blazers to give up Damian Lillard. And looking at those trades, I mean, looking at this particular trade, Fred Van Vliet is the main piece here. He does have a very tradable contract. 20 million, 21 million is his salary. Now, Chris Boucher, unfortunately, you do have to throw him there as well. He has one year left on his contract and you have to throw in Malachi Flynn as well because he's a really young player who I, I could see the Portland Trail Blazers wanting. So this is my first trade here. I want to jump into my second trade here. So second trade, I know you're going to laugh at this one, but hear me out. This is if the Raptors are to get the first overall pick in this year's NBA draft. That would be a perfect scenario and that would be something the Portland Trail Blazers would definitely accept having these three players. Now, it's a similar trade to the previous one, but just Fred Van Vliet, Chris Boucher, Malachi Flynn, throw in this year's first round, first overall pick if the Raptors do get it. And this trade looks really good for both teams here. And you'd probably have to include a future first round pick as well. But this trade looks really good because you don't give up, obviously, OG. You don't give up Pascal. You re-sign Kyle Lowry. You get Damian Lillard, who's a proven star player in this league. We've seen what he does in the playoffs. So having him and Pascal, a really nice combination there. You still get to keep OG, his defense, and you get to develop him as well. So this is my second trade. Now, my third trade here is a three, three-way trade again. We send Gary. Trent Jr. unfortunately to the 76ers 
who in return send Matisse Thibel. And as I've mentioned earlier, we need a third team in Wolf to give up some prospects because the Raptors don't have that many on their roster currently. They give up Matisse Thibel, which entices the Portland Trail Blazers again. And we give up those three guys again, but the Portland Trail Blazers, or excuse me, the Philadelphia 76ers also give us Stephen Curry now. I believe the Philadelphia 76ers could probably throw in a first-round pick for us as well, send it to the Portland Trail Blazers, and the Raptors again would have to throw in at least two first-round draft picks this year's a future and maybe another future first-round draft pick as well. So this is my third trade here. I really like this because not only are you getting Damian Lillard, you also get Seth Curry as well, who is a great three-point shooter, and you lose a lot of guards in this trade again in Fred, Malachi, and Gary Trent, but you get Gary Trent, or excuse me, you get Seth Curry there to play the shooting guard position as well. So let's move on to our last trade here. Now this trade here, um, you, you see the three-way trade here again, and you see Damian Lillard, Yusuf Nurkic, Aaron Holiday, you get that from the Indiana Pacers, but also you send out, again, Fred Van Vliet, Chris Boucher, Malachi Flynn are our most tradable assets. You also accept Aaron Baines's player option, or excuse me, team option. You accept that, send him on his way to the Indiana Pacers, and you send Gary Trent Jr. again. Now the Pacers do end up sending Miles Turner to the Portland Trail Blazers, so they get their center there. They also get those three players. They also get some first round pick from first round picks from the Toronto Raptors. And in return, the Raptors get not only Damian Lillard, but as I've mentioned, they get Yusuf Nurkic as well. So this would be a really good trade for all of the three teams involved. I really like this trade here. And I actually do have one more trade to go. And this is my final trade. The Raptors receive Yusuf Nurkic. Unfortunately, you do lose Chris Boucher in this trade because if you do acquire Yusuf Nurkic, you have Freddie Gillespie, you're going to re-sign Ken Birch, and you have Pascal Siakam at that power forward position. The front court all of a sudden looks very crowded. Unfortunately, Chris Boucher is someone the Portland Trail Blazers could use. They could use his three-point shooting, and you throw in Aaron Baines as well. You accept his team option again, have him as salary filler, send him to the Portland Trail Blazers, and those would be the two players going and we receive Yusuf Nurkic who can really help us. I really believe he can help the Raptors in tremendously in the rebounding aspect, but also just that big body in the paint. And you know what? If he doesn't work out for certain matchups, you have Ken Birch who is a more versatile defender. It gives you multiple options to go at that center position. So I really feel like Yusuf Nurkic would be a decent fit with the Raptors. Now, I do want to ask you guys, what do you guys think of this trade? You can be honest if you don't like this trade. Let me know in the comment section. If you do like it, let me know in the comment section. And again, guys, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.